Well, look who it is. That's right, it's me. And I'm finally back at it with a brand new video for your viewing pleasure. Now, I want to sincerely apologize for not making that many videos for you this year. And the reason for that, and the reason every time I don't make a lot of videos, is because my work has just been so hectic the past couple months that I just haven't had any time to film new videos and edit new videos because that takes up a lot of time and I just didn't have that time to do it because my work was so hectic. But on my New Year's resolution list, I'm going to make it a priority to film and edit more videos for you next year because I do want to keep growing this channel and creating more videos for you because it is something that I love and so I'm going to make it a big priority next year to film and edit more videos for you. But sadly, this is my last video for 2021 and this video is one I've done every year on my channel and if you couldn't tell by what I'm wearing, I'm doing my What I Got for Christmas video. Now, I love to do this video because I know a lot of people like seeing what I got for Christmas because it gives them ideas for what to ask for next year and it just lets them know more about me and what I like and my hobbies. And so that is why I love to do this kind of video and I personally just love to watch these kind of videos because it lets me know what other people like and what their hobbies are and it gives me ideas for next year on what to ask Santa for. Now, I am no way trying to brag about all the things that I got and make it seem like my family has a lot of money. As I said earlier, I like to do this kind of video because it gives you an idea of what to ask Santa for next year and it gives you more of an insight into what I like and what my hobbies are, so that's why I do it. I don't do it to brag about any of the things that I get for Christmas. So, if you're excited to see what I got for Christmas, and you're looking for ideas for what to get next year for Christmas, then stay tuned for the rest of this video. And without further ado, let's just get right on into the video. So what I did with all of my gifts is put them into specific categories. So I'm going to be going through the different categories and sharing with you what I got for Christmas. And the first category is the tech items. And these aren't like your normal tech items, like a computer, or a new phone, but they are still considered tech items. And the first item I received is this right here. And I don't know if you can see what it says on the box, but this is a beverage warmer. And let me open the box to show you what it looks like. It is very pretty. Alrighty, here is what it looks like. And basically what you do is you take your cup, coffee cup, or it could be a tea cup, and you put it on this circle here and you press the button at the bottom here and it warms up your coffee. And this is something I've wanted for the longest time because I have an issue where I don't drink my coffee quick enough and so my coffee gets cold very quickly and so I have to constantly be heating up my coffee and I have the problem where I always go and get coffee right before I have my meetings for work and they're just video meetings but since I have video meetings and I'm going to be on camera, I can't be drinking my coffee during my meeting. So my coffee gets cold and after the meeting, I have to go heat it up. So with this, I won't have to be heating up my coffee as much because I can just put it on here and it'll heat up my coffee while I have my meeting or while I'm doing my work. So that is why I asked for this for Christmas because I don't drink my coffee quick enough and it gets cold very quickly. And also you can buy this kind of item, but not like this, we just put the coffee on there and it heats it up. You can buy an actual coffee cup that heats up the coffee for you. But I like this better because you can use it with any cup. You don't have to use a specific cup. So this, this is the first item I got. And if you're a coffee lover, then I highly recommend you ask for this for Christmas next year. And if you have the same problem as me, where you don't drink your coffee quick enough and it gets cold, then I highly recommend you get this. And to go along with this item, it didn't specifically get bought together as like items to go together because my father got me this and then the next item my mother got me, but they do go together. And this is not a tech item, but I thought I would share it with you because it does go with the item I just shared with you. And that is, I got this coffee cup. And this is a coffee tumbler and it has golden retrievers all over it. And if you didn't know, I do have two golden retrievers. 
So that is why my mother bought me this cup and she bought my sister the exact same cup. And this is a coffee tumbler, so if I'm going somewhere and I wanna bring my coffee with me, I can put it in here and it's good to go. And I think it is super cute because it has golden retrievers on it. And I have two golden retrievers and I just think it's super cute because it has the color on here that is different and unique because everything I have is pink. And it just screams me because of the golden retrievers. So I got this as well and I'm super excited to use this. And now the last tech item that I received is something for me to use for work. And I have meetings every day at 11 a.m. And the problem is where I sit and my desk is, the lighting isn't the greatest. It makes my face kind of dark so it's hard to see me. So I asked for this item here. And this is a light that you hook onto your desk. It has a little like clip. You clip onto your desk and then I can just pull it over to closer to me and my computer and it will provide light for me so when I have my meetings, my face won't be as dark. Now I do have something already that I use to do something like this, but what the problem with that item is, it is connected to my computer. So basically it's like a light, uh, a light, but it's square and it has like a hook that you connect to the top of the computer. But the issue is it doesn't stay on my computer very well. So when I try to tilt it down so that it's facing my face, it falls off my computer and it doesn't provide the best lighting on me. And so I asked for something else and I got this here, which I'm so excited to use. I think it'll be very useful. And this here is called a premium edge lit lighting to improve video calls and enhance live stream. Edge lit technology. Edge lit technology allows for the slick design and provides a soft, easy on the eyes light for long duration broadcast without strain. 360 rotating arm for positioning. Easily maneuver your edge light anywhere over your desk with the 360 rotating arm to create the perfect studio environment. Endless illumination. Designed with an AC power adapter and heat dissipating technology, the edge light can illuminate your broadcast for hours on end. Charge multiple devices. Effortlessly charge your smartphone or devices with two built-in USB ports, both USB-A and USB-C, conveniently built into your light. Brighten up your workspace. When not on video, the rotating head allows you to use your edge as a task light and illuminate your desk for brighter workspace. Adjustable brightness and color. Soft touch controls allow you to quickly and easily adjust brightness and color temperature to ensure you look like a pro. And again, here's what it looks like. It's basically just a light you clip onto your desk and you can move it towards you and have it facing towards your face so that it illuminates you and makes it so you don't look so dark when you're doing videos. And so that is that item. And that is all the tech items I received for Christmas. Now the next two items that I received are workout items. And what I will say is I'm not someone that works out every day. I try to work out every other day and at least three days a week. But recently I haven't been able to work out that much because my work has just been so hectic and I've had so much to do. But one of my big goals for next year is to try working out more. And so I got two workout items to make my workouts go easier. And the first item is, I've got these right here, which if you can't tell what they are, these are wrist weights. And the reason why I got these is because one of the workouts that I do is like a boxing workout. And the instructor, she wears these wrist weights when she does the workout. I just have these like regular weights that you can put your hand through the handle. But I thought these would make it a lot easier for me to do my workout. And these are one pound weights, which are perfect for me. And they're pink, which are my favorite color. And I like how they come in this packaging because it makes it easy for me to take them to the gym if I would ever go to a gym and easy to store them. So here's what they look like. And these are from the brand Bala. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Bala Bangles, that's what they're called. And it says here that Bala Bangles add a constant but comfortable resistance to your workout. Designed for yoga, aerobics, boxing, Pilates, 
walking, home workouts, core training, and rehabilitation. This package includes one pair of wrist or ankle weights, one black mesh carry case, as you can see here. How to clean. Wipe with a damp cloth. Do not wet the Velcro. How to wear. Wrap long elastic band around your wrist. Fix Velcro strap to elastic band to ensure a snug fit. So I'm super excited to use this because it'll be very helpful for my workout, make it easy for me to do my workout. And then the last item I got in the workout category is something that I didn't really know if I wanted to get, but I do think it would help me with my workouts. And that is, I got a, it's very heavy, a yoga mat. Now I don't necessarily do yoga. I mean, I have in the past done yoga. I like to do um, yoga by Adrian. I think that's what her channel's called. She's on YouTube. And I highly recommend you check her out. Her yoga videos are very good. But I never had a yoga mat when I did her yoga videos. And also when I do my full body workouts, some of them require me to lay on the ground because I'm doing crunches. And so when I lay on the ground where I work out at home, the ground is very hard, so it hurts my back. And so I'm gonna be using this more for my full body workouts and if I start doing yoga again. And I'm so excited to use this because one, it'll make my back hurt less from laying on the hard ground where I work out. It'll help me with my yoga videos. And I love the color, it's this pretty blue color. And this is supposed to be a very good brand for a yoga mat. My mother has two yoga mats from this brand. She has an orange one and a purple one, and she loves them. And this is the Pro Mat, and it is, all right, just your favorite pair of jeans on a well-worn baseball club. Every pro has a break-in process. One of our favorite methods, shown below, which, um, I don't really know what they're talking about, but shown below, uses sea salt to help wear in the top surface, transforming the mat into one that's uniquely yours. Of course, the best way to break in your mat is practice, practice, practice. Either way, enjoy the pro process in your new mat. And then it says here you're supposed to unroll your mat, sprinkle sea salt on it, let it sit for 24 hours, and then remove salt with a damp cloth, and then use it as directed, like as a yoga mat, and then repeat as necessary. And it says, how to wipe your new manduka mat. So it's a manduka mat. To clean, keep your mat in the best condition by wiping it down every practice with manduka all-purpose mat wash. I do not have that, but I don't think it's gonna get that dirty. It's specifically formulated to clean your mat without damaging the surface or causing spillage. Do not soak, shower, or submerge in water. And it says on here to store, roll your pro mat with the top side facing upwards. This keeps the corners of the mat flat when practicing. Store the mat horizontally, so like this. And then it says on the bottom here, um, what does it say? Oh, it says on here, 17 inches longer than standard mats with lots of room to roam. So it's 85 inches. And then it's 26 inches, two inches wider than standard mats, giving room to practice comfortably. And then it's closed cell construction. Closed cell construction prevents moisture, sweat, and dirt from absorbing onto the mat, surface, and cleans easily. And then it says, it is one fourth thick, and parallel density for cushion and comfort. The top is performance grip to optimize your practice. And then the bottom is dot patterned bottom grips to the floor to stay put on any surface. So it sticks to the floor. So I am so excited to use this because the color is just this very beautiful blue color and it'll make my workout super easy because I can use it for yoga, which is what it's intended for, and I won't be slipping, and I can use this when I do my crunches for my all body workouts, and I won't be hurting my back anymore from laying on the ground. So this is the last um, workout item that I received. Let's put that there. 
And then the next few items that I received for Christmas from Santa are the fashion accessory items. And so the first item that I got came in this cute bag here. And it is, came in this box. Open it up. And it is this stunning gold and silver pair of knot earrings. I don't know if you can see it, but that is what it looks like. And actually my mother got these earrings when we went to Rome, but she said she's not really gonna wear them, so she gave them to me. And now I have a momentum from that trip. I'm trying to get close enough so you can see it. And I'm super excited to wear these because I feel like they're more of a neutral pair of earrings that I can wear every day. So I'm so excited to wear this. And I love that it's momentum from my trip to Rome. And then the next item that I received is another pair of earrings. And it is, let me take them out of the box. They are from RK Macy & Co. So they're from Macy's and they're considered fine jewelry. So they are very expensive. And out of the box. I don't know. But yeah, here's what the box looked like. Just a typical black box. And then when I open it up, I have these stunning pair of, I feel like they're like an orangey yellow kind of colored earring. But here's what they look like. And that is actually my birthstone. I am born in November. And I don't really remember what the birthstone for November is. But this is the birthstone here. As you can see, let's see on the back what it is. No. But yeah, I think these are super cute. And as again, another pair of earrings I can wear for like every day or for like a fancy event. And I am super excited to wear these. And I asked for earrings for Christmas because I don't have that many earrings and a lot of times I lose them. So that's why I asked for new earrings. Let me put this back in the box. If I can put it in the box, be great. There we go. So I got two pairs of earrings that I'm super excited to wear. And then the last fashion accessory item that I received was actually the most expensive item that I got for Christmas. And I had no idea I was getting this. This was a big surprise that Santa gave me. And that is, it comes in this bag here, Coach. And here it is. I just think this is so cute. This is a new coach bag. As you can see here, it comes with this longer strap so it can wear as a crossbody bag. And it comes with this shorter strap so I can just wear it on my shoulder. And it is this super cute black and gold color. It's pretty much simpler than the one I already have. So I can use this for like every day. And it's not that big so it'll just hold my essentials like my phone, my glasses, my wallet, and my masks. And what you can do is, you undo it right here. Let me get closer so you can see it. And what you do is you can undo it here, and then it's the zipper. You unzip it, okay, you unzip it, and voila. Here's what the inside looks like. Let me actually take the stuff on the inside out. You can really see the inside. Give me one second, everyone. One second, I should've done this earlier, but I didn't think about it. It comes with this authentication, I can't say that word, a card, so you know it's a real coach bag. My mother got this bag from Macy's. And then let me take the bottom part out, so really, unless that's supposed to stay in here? No, there's no way. All right. So here is what the inside of the bag looks like, if you can see that. It doesn't have that many pockets, it just has the one almost kind of like a pocket that is the logo. And what I like about this bag is it isn't super big and I can use it as my everyday bag. And as I said, I can just put my essentials in it, my phone, wallet, glasses, and masks and be ready to go. So if I'm going to the grocery store, I don't need a big bag. I can just use this, have all my essentials in it, and be ready to go. Let me close it back up. 
Alrighty, here's what it looks like again, as you can see here. And I just think this is super cute. And again, this was the most expensive item I got for Christmas. And I didn't even know I was getting it. I was so surprised. Let me put it back in its dust bag so I don't get dirty. And I really don't have that many expensive bags from like fancy designers like Coach. I do have a Michael Kors bag. It looks kind of similar to this one, but it's bigger. And I have a Kate Spade bag, but that's it. I don't have any other designer bags. So I'm so excited to add this to my designer bag collection. So that is all of the fashion accessory items that I received. Now I'm going to be sharing with you the cozy items that I received. And these are items more for if I'm just staying at home and having a lazy day, or because I work at home, I can use them for that. So let me get those items for you to show you. All right. All right, so the first item that I received came in this bag here. Open it up. And I received a new pair of Christmas pajamas. And these are from Pajama Graham. And let me show you what they look like. Let me take them out. Alrighty. So I have this shirt that goes with it. It's a matching set. Here's the shirt. I think it's super cute. It's this red color which just screams Christmas and has all these dogs on it. And it's just a unique um, pair of pajamas because you don't think about dogs and Christmas. And I just think it's super cute. So that's the top. And the top is in it, in case you want to know, extra small. And then the bottoms here. are just these super cute bottoms. They are an extra small and they have dogs on them and they're like dressed up for Christmas. And I just think this is super cute. I'll definitely wear these next year as my Christmas pajamas. And yeah, that is what these look like. And then the top matches. And I just can't wait to start wearing these because they are super cute. I wish I got them earlier though, because now that it's not Christmas, I'm not gonna wear them. But that's okay, I can wear them next year for Christmas. I need my Christmas pajamas. So let me put them back in the bag. And again, this is from Pajama Graham. And then the next item, cozy item, is these slippers. And these I think are super cute. And I don't have any slippers, so I'm super excited to wear these. They are this super like cute pink purpley color. And they have the fur on the top, which is very soft. And then it has this bow tie here. And then the bottom gives you traction, so you're not going to be slipping on the ground. And I guess you could wear these outside. And these are in a, can you see what size they're in? Um, I don't think so. It doesn't say what size they're in. Hmm. Yeah, they're called pink cable knit pom pom booty slippers. And here is the other one. They're just this pinky purple kind of color. And I just think these are super cute and I'll definitely wear these because I love to wear slippers. And they're from the brand Addison Meadow, but I think they are, excuse me, from the same place where my mother got the pajamas. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, I think these are super cute and I can't wait to wear them. And then I keep my feet super warm during the winter time. those these the crown and then the next cozy item I received is this here and this is a candle from the brand a m a l f i I do not know how to pronounce that I apologize Del Mar and it's a soy candle and it's from rip with full r i f l e paper co and it is the scent eucalyptus sea salt lemon grass and jasmine and it says that it is a blend of citrus soothing i don't know what this says i accidentally ripped off the back trying to open it so i don't know what it says but let me just open it up to show you and i think this box is super cute great packaging let me take out the candle i think this is such a cute candle i love the blue color 
and I love the design of the um, tag on it and oh my goodness this smells heavenly and it says on the bottom discontinues when half of the wax remains and it is again a soy candle and it just smells so good I wish you guys could smell it and this candle I'm actually gonna put at my desk so I can light it when I'm working so there's the second item third item I mean that I got that is a cozy item and then the last cozy item that I received is I got this very cute very soft blanket and this is from Victoria's Secret and you get this if you buy a certain um, amount of items and they cost a certain amount and so I got this blanket here Victoria's Secret oh wow originally it cost $68 that's a lot for a blanket but I do think it is super cute it has the constellations on there and it has the moon on there and it has a planet on there and it's a Sherpa blanket and I just love it I think it is super cute I'm definitely going to be using this you can never have too many blankets I'm going to put this at my desk so I can use it while I work and keep me super warm in the winter time because where I work is the basement of my house and it does get very cold so this would be perfect for that so that is all of the cozy items that I received for Christmas now I'm going to share with you all of the organizational items that I got and I got two organizational items so let me go get this for you. So the first organizational item that I received is from my sister and also that candle that I showed you that is also from my sister but and so is this item I'm about to show you and they kind of go together because of the design on them and that is I got a 2022 planner. And this is from the same brand as the candle. And it's a 17 month planner. And it's a monthly and weekly calendar pages, sticker sheets, section for notes and your goals, a pocket folder ruler, inspirational quotes, and more. And I just think this is super cute and the perfect size because I've had ones that are bigger than this and ones that are smaller, but the smaller ones get ruined easily. And the bigger ones are just too big for me to put in my bag if I were to go somewhere. So this is the perfect size. And when I open it up, I can put my name on it. I can say I can put my name on it and it says, uh, that's from the owner. And it's a 2022 planner. And it goes all the way to 2023. And it has the calendar on here for both years. And then the first part is important dates. It tells you all the different holidays, as you can see here, all the different holidays. And then the next section is for a year in review, as you can see here for each month. And then what else? The next section is for your goals. I can write down all the goals I have for 2022 and then the next section is the monthly section month by month 2021 to 2022 which starts in August of 2021 which passed that but that's okay and then it goes to September oh no yeah I'm not gonna be able to use any of the 2021 section because it's past that, but I can use the 2022, and that is what it looks like. And it goes to the next section, and here's what it looks like for each section. You can write down for each day what you're doing, and I just think this is super cute. And I love how it's floral. I'm big into floral patterns. And then in the very back of the planner, it has this folder section here. So I can put important things there if I need to. And then it has, where was it? Oh, it has a ruler. So the folder section here is like a ruler right here. 
don't know if you can see that. And it also has stickers. So I can personalize the different dates and, and the different things I'm doing. And then like right here, for example, I can write notes. So if I have anything important I need to remember, I can write it in here. So that is my planner. And I am super excited to use this. The only thing I don't like is that a lot of it I can't use because 2021 is pretty much over. But I can use the 2022 section. So I'm super excited to use this. Help me get more organized. And I do already have a planner. I have the um, boss. I don't want to say it's a bad word, but I'm going to say it anyway. I apologize. The Boss Bitch Planner from Christy Lukasiak. And for those of you that don't know, Christy Lukasiak is the mother of Chloe Lukasiak. And they were both on the show Dance Moms. And Christy Lukasiak actually does a Facebook page where she teaches people that are my age and in college and high school. You can join, but it's not really for you. But it's basically for young adults. And it teaches you everything you need to know about becoming an adult. So it teaches you all about taxes, health insurance, applying for a job, things like that. So you can like become an adult and you can basically know everything. So like when you move out of your parents' house, then you know how to purchase an apartment. You know what to buy for that apartment. You know how to do your taxes and just be more independent. And so I have that planner right now, and I do love it, but it is very expensive. And I haven't bought her new version of the planner for next year. I just have the 2021 planner, so I don't know if I'm going to buy the new version because now I have this planner. Or I could have two planners. I don't know. So I'm still thinking about that. But I do love her planner because it also has like a tracker for how much you spent for the month. You can put down for each different week, you can put down what you um, achieved, what was a big achievement, and you can put things on that are like a high priority or not that urgent and stuff like that. So I do really love her planner, but I do have this one now, so I'm not entirely sure I'm going to buy her 2022 planner. I'll keep you updated if I decide to buy it. But yes, this is the first organizational item that I got, and it's from my sister. And then the last organizational item that I got is this right here. And this is an accordion file folder. And it has 13 pockets. And it's an expanding file folder. And it is from the brand Heritage, Chic, and U Brands. And I got this from Target. And it's printed with soy based ink on paper source from well managed forests. And so basically what you do is you undo the tie here, which closes it. And then give me one second. All right, when I open it up, it has this super cute pink color, as you can see here. And voila, it is just an accordion file folder. And I got this to keep me more organized because I love to be organized. And I was thinking I could put all my receipts in here. I could put my checks in here and just be super organized. And that's 13 pockets, which I think is plenty for me. And this wasn't that expensive, which I love. The one I really liked was way more expensive than this. So I ended up not getting it. But I like this one. I think it's super cute and does what I need to do. and has as much pockets as I need. So again, this is what it looks like. And I love the design of it. I think it's very chic. And I like how it has the pink color because pink is my favorite color. So that is all of the organizational items that I received for Christmas. Now the final item that I received for Christmas are the clothing items that I received. And I always get a bunch of clothing items for Christmas. So let me get those and show those to you. <sighs> So the first clothing item that I received for Christmas is this super cute sweater. It is in a cream color. And I just think this is super cute. I love how it has the tie on it. That's very unique. I don't have a shirt like that. And I like this color. It can be worn with a bunch of different things. And it is super soft and just perfect for the winter time. 
And since it is open like this, has the big opening here, I can wear whatever shirt I want underneath it. And it'll add a pop of color to my outfit. And this is from Express. And it is in the size extra small. And here's what it looks like. And I think this will be super cute to wear with a skirt or to wear with my colored pants. Because if you know me, I don't really like to wear jeans. I like to wear jeans that have a color to them. Like I have a red pair and I have a pink pair. So this will go perfect with those. So I'm so excited to wear this because this is more of a neutral item for my wardrobe. So I can wear with a bunch of different things. And then the next item is another sweater. And it is from Express again. And it is this super cute gray kind of black sweater and i just love it because again it's another neutral item so i can pair with a lot of different things in my wardrobe i could pair with my purple pants my red pants my burgundy pants and it'll be super cute with those and it is super soft and this is in a size small and it is from express here's what it looks like and i'm just super excited with this because it's another neutral item I can pair with a bunch of different things in my wardrobe. And now the next clothing piece I got is another sweater, which looks very similar to the one I just showed you. And here is the sweater. It is just this pinky purple color, and it looks very similar to the one I just showed you. And this is an extra small, and it is again from Express. And this I think would be super cute to wear with my um, black or gray pants and my jeans and a skirt and I'll just look super cute. And if you can't tell, the bottom has like this asymmetrical bottom, which I think is very unique. So I do really like this and I think I can get a ton of wear out of it and it's in this pretty color. That is the next clothing piece I received. Oh, and then I received this item here, which is from L.L. Bean, and this here, if I can get it out, is almost like a um, sweatshirt hoodie type of thing. I don't really know what you call it. Oh no, this is a jacket. Oh, this is a jacket, yo. I did not know that. This is a jacket. Scratch what I just said. This is a jacket, and it is like a white creamish color, and it has this pocket here. Which, hmm, let's test it. Let's see if my phone could fit in. I have it sitting right here. Will my phone fit in the pocket? No. No. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Nope, barely. It fits in it, but I can't button it up and close it. But yes, I got this jacket here, which I'm so excited to wear because it looks super comfortable and it is super soft. And I do already have a white jacket. It's white and gray from North Face, but it gets dirty very easily because it is white. So I'm happy to have another white colored jacket. And this is in the size small. It's a size small. And again, here's what it looks like from the front and then from the back here. And it has the gray on here as well. And yeah, I think this will be super cute to wear in the winter time and keep me super warm because of the fabric and it is very soft, which I love. That is my jacket I received. One second, let me put it back in the bag. Now one more, well no, a few more clothing pieces. So this is the last few clothing pieces I received in this bag here. And it is, I got this, what is this, is this a skirt? Yeah, this skirt it is like a wool, I think it is wool. No, it's not wool, it's cotton. It is this cotton material, kind of seems like it's a wool material, but it's not. But it's stressy, which is good, so it'll be comfortable. And it is this skirt here, and it's a little longer, which is good for the winter time because it gets cold where I live. And if I were to like go to a meeting, for a job interview or just for work, then I could wear this. And it is from the brand Express. And this is an extra small. 
And then to go along with this skirt, which I love, you know I love the color pink, I got this jacket, jacket, not a jacket, this shirt, which is the same material and color as the, um, as the skirt, I forgot what it was. And it looks like this, and I love how it has the little, almost like a knot right here in the middle. I think that is super cute. And it has the wide shoulders here, which is unique and different. And it is like almost a crop top. It's not like completely a crop top, it's almost a crop top. But the skirt is supposed to be high waisted, so it won't show my stomach. And I think this is perfect for the winter time. And it will be perfect for springtime because of the color. And then to go along with that, I got this turtleneck vest here, which I put underneath the shirt so it'll keep me extra warm. Here's what it looks like. You can see here, and this is in the size extra small. This is an extra small. And I just think this is again super cute. I love the color. And I love the idea of layering in the winter time because it keeps you extra warm. So that is that. Here's what it looks like again. You can see here, and I'd wear that underneath my sweater here. So yeah, I think that's everything. Oh, one other thing I did get for Christmas that I'm not gonna show you is I got underwear, and I always get underwear for Christmas, and I look forward to it because, you know, your underwear gets old and dirty and just tattered, so you always need a refresh. So yeah, that is everything that I received for Christmas, and I was so happy to receive, so grateful to receive, and I just would, could not believe I got all of these items for Christmas. And I will try to link all these items down below in the comments so that you guys, not the comments, in the description box down below for you. So if you want to purchase any of these items, you can. And also, I'd like to know in the comments down below what you received for Christmas and also what your favorite Christmas tradition is. I think that'll be something, you know, interesting to find out. So yes, if you like this video, then give it a big thumbs up. And if you like all the things I received for Christmas and learning what I got for Christmas, and if this gave you ideas for what to put on your Christmas list next year, then give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, to hit the red subscribe button down below so you can get notified when I upload more videos like this one or just videos in general. And I tend to do like cooking videos, fashion review videos, haul videos and yeah those are pretty much the kind of videos that I do on my channel but I'm going to try to do different types of content next year so stay tuned for that and also if you haven't already done so already hit the bell notification down below so you can make double sure that you get notified when I upload new videos because I know sometimes on YouTube it doesn't always show you the new videos that YouTube is your following came out with but if you hit the bell notification down below, you will be made sure that you receive a notification of a new video that came out from the YouTuber you're subscribed from. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, and check out the description box for the links to all these items if you want to purchase them. And I hope you have a wonderful Christmas a wonderful rest of your 2021 looking forward to the new year and i hope you spend a lot of time with your family today and i wish you a merry christmas and a happy new year and i will see you in my first video for 2022